Tucson, Arizona. My name is Andrea, and I'm here with Jupiter Hodge, owner and tea master at Seven Cups. Last time on our podcast, we talked about brewing loose tea and talking about the different kinds of teaware, and also the importance when you're brewing green, white, or yellow tea, not to use boiling water, but to use about 185 degree of the temperature. So we thought today we'd talk about other types of tea and how to brew it. So Jupiter, what do you have for us today? So today we would like to talking about how to brew the scented tea, uh, which is like a jasmine oh, the tea. That's very popular. Uh, yes. Also, we're going to show you how, how to brew the oolong tea, black tea, and the poor tea. Sounds great. Let's make some tea. So first, let me show you how to make a scented tea. This scented tea named silver dragon pearl is some pearl shaped jasmine tea. So for this size of tea, usually we only need half a tablespoon. It's enough. So how much is a half a tablespoon? It's about four grams. So which each time you pour the four grams of tea into your pot. Now here I use a glass pot because I want to be able to say the pearl is open. That's beautiful, how to enjoy it. Then we just pour the hot water. How hot? It's around 190 degrees, which is a little bit hotter than you make the green tea, but less boiling. So usually, we will pour about a two-thirds of water into your pot to brew in the tea. For this, uh, it's about uh, the 12 ounces, the size of uh, the amount, amount of water. So usually, we will wait about three minutes to then pour the tea into your cup. Tea will be ready. But uh, very much depends how your taste. Uh, if you want stronger, you can wait for a little longer. So one other thing is the uh, same tea leaves, you can at least reuse five times. So when you drink the tea, service tea, after you pour the tea out, I suggest you save a little bit on the bottom with your tea leaves. Then you refill the water into your pot. It's very simple. Now I'm going to show you how to make a oolong tea. Today I choose this tea named Monkey Picked, which is our everyday great oolong tea. I choose to use Yixin pot to make. Of course, you can use ceramic pot, porcelain pot, or even glass teaware to make it. Yixin pot, which is a very traditional clay pot. I want to show you how to use in a simple way. First, we will like warm up the yishin pot. You pour about one third of the water into your yishin pot, waiting for about 15 seconds, or you can just shake in, uh, which is uh, helps warm up your pot, cold pot. Uh, then you can pour out my table has a hole, can help the water go through, drop to the pot. You may pour the water into your sink. Then we will like pour the half a tablespoon leaves and uh, one teaspoon the leaves into the pot. Also, the weight is about 4 grams. That's usually we will like the, 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 the pour the, the tea in, uh, the, to a pot. It's around 4 grams. Water here is boiling. This is very important. You got to make sure when you make oolong tea, water must be boiling. If you like enjoying the 
dry tea leaves aroma. Before you pour the hot water to brew the tea, it's best time to enjoy the dry tea leaves aroma, which is you lightly shaking the dry tea leaves inside of this wet, hot the pot. Then you can open the pot to smell. Uh, you can easily to find the flooring aroma. Then we will like pour very small water outside of the yishin pot, just one circle. Then make the water go big. Pour into your pot. Use the lid. Sweep back the some bubble here. Then pour the hot water on the top of the yishin pot. Then you're waiting for about two or three minutes. Uh, then you can pour into the pitcher. Like this way. Uh, so you service uh, the tea to your guest or yourself is from the tea pitcher. Tea pitcher can make you your tea's taste even. Of course, you can service tea direct from your pot, go straight to the cup. But we used to like, yeah, use a pitcher to service. Uh, so which is uh, also very uh, simple this way. Thank now you. I'm going to show you how to make the black tea. I choose the teaware is a six ounce porcelain teapot, which porcelain teaware is the most uh, popular common way to make the tea. This teaware come with a filter. And most tea China Chinese teaware they come with a filter. Either filter by this uh, the steel mesh or they have some hole made near the spot inside to filter to help the filter the tea. So you don't need to buy extra or the tea bowl to tie your tea leaves if you use a Chinese porcelain teapot. Today I choose the tea named Golden Peacock, which is our most popular the black tea, made from the one but one leaves from the deep forest in the Yunnan province. For this tea, since this tea is completely made uh, by hand, so tea leaves, the size is very big. So I'm going to pour four grams of tea into my six, uh, 16 ounce of a pot. I need to put uh, two tablespoon of the dry leaves in, which is much the four grams of tea. Also, for the black tea, we would like to pour the boiling water to brew it. So you just go straight, pour the boiling water. And cover the lid and to wait. For, for this tea, we can wait also two or three minutes. Then tea will be ready so you can start to drink or service. Same thing, these tea leaves, you can got multiple use, at least more than five, six times. Now I'm going to show you how to make the poor tea. I choose the teaware is a ceramic teapot. The size is about 24 ounce. The tea leaves I choose is a premier, premium poor tea. This tea leaves, the size is very small. So, for 24 ounce of the uh, teapot, I would like to pour one tablespoon tea leaves, which is about six grams of tea leaves into the pot. So if you just have some teaware around 12 ounce, then I would suggest you only pour a little bit more than half a tablespoon to match the four grams of tea leaves. 
put it into your small size of teapot. So poor tea, which is uh, oxidized and fermented tea, same as uh, oolong tea and black tea, requires uh, boiling water. So here the water just boiling. Uh, so we just go straight, pour the boiling water into your pot. Usually, we would like to fill up about two-thirds of water into your pot. This pot don't have stale strainer, but inside on this spot has a hose. They made a hose to help the filter out of the tea leaves. Then you just cover your lid, wait about also two or three minutes. Then tea will be ready. And the same tea leaves for poor tea, at least we will reuse six to seven times from the same leaves. So as you can see, it's very simple to brew loose tea. We use different types of teaware, so you find the one that's best. And remember, when you're brewing black, pour or oolong tea to use boiling water. Scented tea a little bit less, not it's quite boiling yeah, water. Yeah, it's uh, around the hot And hunters. the other things to consider is the brewing time. And I think for everybody it's a little bit different, so you can vary it depending on your taste. Exactly. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Ah. Fantastic. Yes. Well, until next time, we offer you good health and fine tea. Please visit us on the web to learn more about tea and tea culture.